guys a long time no see I know I have been totally lagging on my videos I had some technical difficulties the past two videos that I filmed but I am back and I'm doing a talk through tutorial today just to make up for it it's gonna be a longer video so I hope that you guys are ready so this is the look that I did today it's kind of a daytime kind of smokier eye and so um, I used blacks and browns and I ended up pairing it with this amazing nude lip which is my current obsession it's two lip liners from Sally but you'll go ahead and see that in the tutorial so if you want to see how to get this daytime kind of smoky eye perfect for work or anything casual where you have a little bit of time but not too much time um go ahead and keep watching and i hope that you guys enjoyed and i will see you guys in my next video i'll be taking urban decay's primer potion in anti-aging and that is the one in the purple packaging like this morphe's brushes eyeshadow in zero three which is just an off-white kind of eggshell color I'm gonna be setting my primer so now after that I'm gonna be taking my handy dandy scotch tape because I do want this look to be very crisp Morphe's eyeshadow in number 13, which is kind of a very just, um, kind of skin tone color. And I'm going to be focusing that on the outer part of my eye. Most of these shadows will stay kind of over here. Since I am going for a daytime smoky eye, I don't want it to be that dramatic. <laughs> Now switching to a Morphe brush in M200, I'm going to be taking Makeup Geek's eyeshadow in Cocoa Bear, which is a very warm tone brown. So again, I'm going to be focusing that on the outer corner. and just taking it little by little. And I'm not gonna try to bring it as much inward. I want all of this to be strictly a uh, kind of a new color. Gone ahead and done the other eye. I'm now gonna be, again, working with my M200 and taking the color black from my Lorac Pro palette and just taking the littlest amount on the, on the very tip of my brush And just working that lower than Cocoa Bear. I'm working in very slow kind of motions so that it doesn't get muddy and it kind of blends a lot better. And so that is how much black I am kind of feeling right now. I am going to go ahead and add my lid color and then go ahead and intensify the black a little so bit more. Usually I would go ahead and go into my eyeliner, but I tried out that nude color and I am not feeling it. So what I usually do use is my Bare Minerals Pigment in Nude. 
And I'm gonna go ahead and use that. I should have just used it from the beginning, but I wanted to use something from the Lorac Pro palette to keep it simple. I think that Bare Minerals did an amazing job with this, and I actually want to pick up more pigments because of this one. Using our tape as a guide, I'm just going to create a wing liner. That is all for the eye portion and the liner did come out semi thick so you can't see as much as the black but again it's a daytime look so I don't want it to be that smoky I'm just gonna curl my lashes and apply mascara I would put on false lashes but again I'm trying to keep it a little more daytime and I'm actually out of lash glue so that's my other excuse <laughs> I wish my liner didn't come out so thick, but still trying out that push-up liner. When it comes to creating the inner part, it's kind of hard um, using that. The tip, I feel, that's just me, though. Kind of have to work. Using the Mega Link the mascara from Wet n Wild. I accidentally picked up this mascara, but I quite like it, and I think it's only about $3, so, score, so as I was saying, I'm going to be applying the Time Bomb Foundation, but before I do that, I'm going to add a little bit of my Airspun Translucent Powder. This is what I'm going to be using opposed to primer just because um this is such a fine powder that it really mattifies my face um and kind of gives me a good base to start with um i know that wayne goss talked about using powders instead of actual primers and i won't let go of my professional all the way but i do like how um this feels and how I apply my foundation with it so I've been using this all summer and I'm in love with it so I'm just gonna be applying that and now to go in with my foundation This is a cream foundation, so it's going to give me very, very full coverage. I'm going to apply my foundation. I'm going to apply the NARS concealer, the Radiant Creamy Concealer. And I'm in the shade Custard. I'm just going to be applying that under my eyes. And then a little bit on my forehead. Down the bridge of my nose. Under my chin. And just working that in with my fingers. Actually... My under eye. 
I'm gonna be taking my dress up brush because I absolutely love this brush to do my under eye concealer. And if you guys are new to my channel, I have a review on these amazing brushes. They just released new ones that are more tapered towards the eye. So tempted to buy those. Now I'm just going to go ahead and take my new fave, which is the Sonia Kashuk um, Contour Brush, and taking the shade Dark in my Care Blend Powders, I'm going to go ahead and contour my face. unnamed blush I'm gonna be taking that on my blush brush swirling that and just taking that on top of that contour not going too in with this seriously I kind of love how this foundation looks I've been obsessed with it lately we got it such a long time ago but never really used it until recently so now i'm gonna take my mary luminizer and just take that on the tops of my cheeks i'm gonna spray myself with my all-nighter setting spray gonna take two lip liners from Sally and one in natural one in mocha I'm gonna be taking the color mocha and outlining my lips taking the color natural and filling in the rest This is the final look. I kind of kept it a little bit more nude since this is a daytime appropriate look. You can go ahead and use um, a red lipstick if you want to be daring, but I am just too in love with this lip combo with this look, so I'm just going to keep it like this. So this is the final look. And I hope that you guys enjoyed and um, tell me if you like a talk through kind of video um, it is rather longer and I wanted to do it today because I know I've been missing um, a couple videos so I just wanted to give you guys a rather long one so you know the draw tell me down below if you guys like talk through videos and maybe I'll start incorporating those a little bit more